connecting to something larger than yourself entails being able to go beyond yourself. To go beyond yourself, you'll need to start using a few key practices, which is the aspect of metaphor and the aspect of deep meditation. When we go into metaphors, we start to express life in a way that we have are portraying something that we've never experienced before. So when you're trying to teach somebody something that they don't have any idea of what it is, like if you're trying to tell somebody about what the sun is, and they don't know what the sun is, they've lived in a box their whole life, you know. So you say, the sun is basically a giant ball of gravitational pull. You know how you are being held to the earth right now in this moment? Well, imagine something holding this earth in gravitational pull, keeping it so it doesn't fly out into the midst of the cosmos. So you would say that, and maybe you would also say that it's also a very hot substance that keeps us from freezing, you know. It's such a distance away, but it keeps us from freezing. So metaphors can be used in many different ways and helps us break through the ideas of reality and break into grander, more grandiose perspectives, you know. We also must start speaking in words and languages and expressions that are bigger than ourselves. By using linguistics, learning new languages, learning ancient languages, learning your own language on a deeper level, reading the dictionary, getting a depth of perception for yourself, you begin to expand into new forms of thought and idea and ways of thought. And when we do that, we start to see life in a new way. When we start to practice new practices such as going into Qigong or yoga or Buddhism or Taoism or Shintoism or Christianity, Judaism, Muslim, Hindu, whatever it is, you know, you start seeing a new perception on what the answer is from that perspective. And when you can find truths within each of those perspectives, you start culminating them within yourself using the power of discernment. You realize what is true to you as a being and you start cultivating that more and more into your life. And you start realizing that you are so much more than you ever thought you were because these other perspectives will start teaching you how wonderful or how minute you actually are. And then at the same time, it's that back and forth of infiniteness and finiteness and realizing we are both at the same time. There's no separation. We are both the earth and the heavens. We are the sun and the moon. We are the yin and the yang. We are the balance. And when we start to cultivate that balance within ourselves, we start to express ourselves more wholesomely, more vitally, more connectedly, more radiantly. All the Lees that you can chuck Lee, uh, uh, what is his name, Lee, um, Norris Lee, no, <laughs> Bruce Lee, you know what I'm talking about. Well, basically, life is a playground for our spiritual growth. The more we cultivate spirit within our beings, the more we cultivate our own purpose in this life, and the more we are led to something more magnificent and wonderful and radiant than you've ever believed yourself capable of being before. So, help yourself start seeing beyond the illusions. Help yourself start eating healthy, start being healthy, start taking the choices in your life to learn something new and express yourself more wholeheartedly and you too will be guided into full realization of what you were came here to be who you are in this moment you are all blessings in my life I'm so grateful and thankful and blessed for you all. I pray that you may go forward in life with new radiance, newfound glories of wondrousness and expression in your experience. You all have a blessed rest of your day. Namaste.